Hello and welcome back to our C++ Primer course for beginners. In this episode, we'll be looking at the switch statement. So let's get started. So let's take a look at using a switch statement. Now you may have something like this where you have a question and you're asking the user to input an answer and you want to do different things based upon what they do. Well, you're immediately responsible for using if statements and you can do something like this where you go, are we subscribed to Ryan and the games? Yes or no? And ask for a response from the input. Uh, this is using a character object um, available type, by the way. So a single letter and if response is equal to and in single quotation marks y say thank you else if response equal is equal to n in single, single quotation marks we will see out hit the subscribe button now then so to show this one working you ask us a question are we subscribed to run any games no hit the subscribe button now if i go to push play again hit y we get a thank you okay and we could probably put this in a while loop as well. Let's do that. Um, while uh, seeing, I'm uh, not seeing, uh, while response is um, not equal to y, do the following. Oh, sorry, in single quotation marks, y, and do the following. I'm just going to put that in here, like so. Uh, response we'll have to define it as equal to um x for now as a default starting point and then as response goes around it'll keep doing this and this and this until it doesn't so again let's check that loop out if i'm are you subscribed to running the games no hit subscribe button oh hit subscribe button now are you subscribed to running the games no are we subscribed yes thank you uh that's just because i haven't got a end line there uh, we just put that in make that a little bit nicer like so okay so that is the kind of gist of what we've got going on here now this is one way of doing it the other way of doing it is using a switch statement which is a lot more useful if you've got a lot of these you don't want to be chaining else ifs else if else if all the time you want to use a switch statement instead so let's see what this looks like as a switch statement so it's going to make some space here and put in switch and then type in the variable that we're switching with in this case we're switching with response and then we put in our code brackets to insert our statements and the statements are case statements so i'm going to do case and now we put in the different variations that we could uh, um, expect so we put in a single quotation marks y and then in, put a colon and now i could put in the response i want to put in here so I can go into here and do C out and put in, I'll just copy this actually, easier. Like so. And then I put in the keyword break. Uh, then I want to do the other case, case N. Ooh. And then do C out. Hit the subscribe button now break notice that these both have break in them break basically just means that uh we are going to stop going through any more cases because if i don't put break in here this will say thank you and then hit the subscribe button now at the same time let's show that in a second but let's see this working first of all i delete this elf uh if and else if statement so now we've got a switch response instead so now if i hit play on this we can go in here i subscribe to run any games no I used to go one of the games. Yes. There you go. So it works exactly the same sort of way. But let's take a look at what else we can do here. So it breaks here. If I take this one out of here and show you this, what this does. If I go into here now and push Y, it will say thank you and hit the subscribe button now. Because basically the breaks just makes it carry on going. So you can do some interesting things with this. You can make things like chain up together and do a load of commands at once based upon where you insert themselves in. Um, but most of the time you are putting break in. But let's say, okay, well, what happens when someone puts in a letter that isn't Y or N? Well, in a switch statement, that is a lot easier to do than say an else if statement all the time. So we're going to do in here, just do default and put in see out 
please enter a valid response y or n okay so now if i go into my little debugger and put in say j please enter a valid response y or m there we go and that's a switch statement really useful uh, especially when you're dealing with quite complex things later on this is quite a simple response but we can do a variety of things it makes it a lot easier to read as well as a programmer and it makes it a little more flexible later on when we're adding more complex conditions in for our switch statements And there you go, we've now set up a switch statement. And hopefully you can see how similar it is to the blueprint version of a switch statement. In the next episode, we'll be going through how to set up arrays. So defining them and how to access and use them. You can watch the next episode right now on patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley, where all my videos are available early from just $1 a month. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.